Hi, I'm Real Genetic Demon, and a few people have been asking me about uh, mapping additional games on the Vega. Um, uh, it's not as straightforward as it should be. It's a little bit more difficult than you you, you might expect. Um, but uh, I thought I'd take you through this if I can. So um, to help as well in the description below, you'll find um, that there is actually a, a, a template, um, which I think is a quite a good way to start, and it, it'll save you sort of uh, um, any problems in future. So um, okay, on the screen we've got template here. Now I'm losing uh, Linux, but it's the same for Windows. What you need to do is you need to open up. Uh, notepad on windows so if you hit that old uh, sort of windows bottom button in the bottom corner or the start button depending on what version of windows you're on um, and type in notepad there that will open up uh, basically a text editor uh, a way to do that um, what I would suggest you do is copy and paste my template which is here um, and on the website at the bottom of oh, no, the, the bottom of YouTube description um, and you copy and paste that into into the notepad or alternatively you could start what is fresh so um, what we need to do though first um, in this template is we kind of need to I need to go through each individual item with you so let's just start with that and we'll do that first right so we've got T colon here now I've put in here name of the game and that literally is the name that displayed on the screen so the one that you see when you've got it in the spectrum and you put it on your SD card so so um, what we put in here, so if we're doing, for instance, um, um, Cyclone, um, the helicopter game, if you've ever played it, um, where you, you rescue people. It's actually quite a good game. Um, if one I'm planning to do a video on when I get a chance. Anyway, Cyclone. You'd stick in Cyclone here. Now, the important thing here, um, and I'll flash up on the screen now, now, is you must associate that this is specifically with the file that's there. So this is the file that it's associated with. So this is the ZX, this is the this is the tape file, the TAP or the .z80 file that it's associated with. So in this case, um, it would be, and it's quite easy. This one, um, it's the Cyclone file. I recommend keeping the the um, the names down, and if you need to change them, I would do sort of a rename or or right click and do the properties and change it in there. Um, but I would recommend keeping the names to a maximum of eight um, letters, first letters before the dot um, there, um, and followed by the dot. TAP or dot Z80 because they seem to work. I haven't found any snapshots working. I haven't found uh, the tape files to work. The T um, Z, uh, uh, ZX files which you can get. Anyway, um, so you've got your tape file there. So that's now you've got your title there. That all appears as a title. It now knows it's associated with um, Cyclone. Next thing you have to do is define what kind of spectrum you want. And it's, it says it's M for memory actually. To be fair, so so we need. There's only two options here. So we're either a a 48k so that's 48k spectrum or 128 now um, most spectrum games 48 is fine um, but you'll know which ones are for um, 128 if you're getting your tape files from Z the world of spectrum you will find that, that, that there is a 128k tape if you want one right next one pokes now I've I've actually um, this one's a blanked out one that this this hash means don't read this line but it but it likes them to be there I've discovered that if you don't put them in or you delete the line and just leave it out the Vega gets a little upset it kind of goes well there should be a line here for pokes or something similar but uh, um, it's not there so pokes um, they come in the format of so if you were putting a poke in you first put in um, you'll you'll see these as well they're, they're something you'll find on there um, you put in basically the sort of whatever the, the, the memory address is comma whatever the the change you want to make to that memory address now i know that's not a valid memory address so i do do apologize for my typing there but it's just an example um i'm not going to put one in here because i'm quite happy where it is you must follow it up with a semicolon if you want to enter more all right um that's the way it seems to be formatted and that's the way it seems to go so um not tried it so i'm not sure how well it works um if you wish to try it and let me know in the comments below that would be fantastic it would save me actually having to do it Next thing is keyboard. This is it says K for keyboard, but actually it's not the keyboard. It's the controller. Um, this first area here before this semicolon. This is the set of commands you want it to perform when you first press the select or S key. So this is quite important because if you want it to say select um, the um, you know number four because that's the Kempston joystick and then you know do number two because you want to redefine the keys or and then you need to do the keys and they're they're sort of their their Q A and I would suggest capitals by the way um do that wrong Q A O P 
exact uh, like that and then whatever it is to start so that's the kind of predefined to do it what normally happens is i i, I sometimes does depends on the game um whether i want to redefine the keys or whether i want to change them because i'm not sure i want to the, the way they are change them out on the pad um i would i would I, I, you don't have to do it don't have to use it you can just leave it blank but it has to be blank like that so it has to be blank nothing in there semicolon the next one now i've actually laid this out exactly as it is on the controller i do not use the um dual um system for it you can actually do it where you have another set of primary commands you may have seen that on things like back to school and um uh, uh, um, Sam Spade and things like that. They 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 have very much got extra things in here. I don't do it, um, so you won't see me do this in this video because I only use. If you can't do it on the one set of keyboard, it's gonna be a nightmare to play. So I know that kind of limits some games, but let's 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 be honest. If you can't do it on the one that one face sort of of the, of the Vega, it's not much fun. So anyway. Um, so these are the keys. So if we was doing, you know, if we're doing the old classic Q A O P, Q A um, O P and M. So this would be your up. So we'll put in there Q, and forgets that he's got caps locks on. So Q, and then we got the A, and then O, and then P. Now, um, there are some special characters as well. So, say this was this key was um, uh, cap shift. It would be CS for cap shift. Um, SS for symbol shift. SP for space. EN for enter. Um, I know that's a lot to remember. I will write that in the description below as well. So, I'll give the template and I'll give you the instructions about pushing those. So, if that was the key was enter. So, let's just say it was space. So, SP. Um, select key. Now this is your. That, so so we had the fire there. So that was our Q A O P and space in this case. Um, select key. That's your sort of. I I think tend to think of that as my start button. That's the button I press to start. However, you can map it something different. So, um, but but yeah, definitely select is usually a start. So if like that was off the menu, that was five. You'd set it as five. Um, another thing I found as well is, of course, the cap, the, the cursor joystick was the 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 keys from uh, five, six, seven, eight. Um, uh, and nine and zero was fire. Um, you could actually map those out as well. So you could always change it to like a cursor joystick if you could see one of those, and then map those keys into here, which is also quite useful as well. Although the the Vega by default is uh, a Kempston joystick, you could actually map that out as uh, something else. So now we're on to button one. Um, so we could put something in there, you know, it's maybe a T key, button two, maybe an R key, um, and then this is the this is the A B C. On the bottom of the controller so these are the teeny little buttons on the bottom of the controller if you didn't need them you can delete them out like that so we're gonna say we don't need those the next part is your description this is description again follow, follow the format please because otherwise you'll find you get yourself into a little bit of trouble um, um, it tells you what the commands do so this is basically Q is up A is down left right fire um, we had a 1 and 2, but we don't have an A and B, so we can delete those like that. Um, and that gives you your format for, for, for the thing. Um, the last part, now I don't use this. Um, you might see it in some of my descriptions, but I do, don't use this. This is for episodic um, games or ones that basically have a multi-load. So if there was more than one tape file associated with with um, Cyclone, um, it would it would know to like multi-load from inside that tape, if that makes sense. So, you know, if you think of Target Renegade on the 48K Spectrum, you have to load the levels, whereas the 1 to 8 would load the whole thing. That's what this does. It's an episodic load, and you have to tell it sort of a, a 1, 2, a 1, 3. Tell basically how many parts are actually in it. Never used it. Um, if you do, guys, do please again um, tell me in the description below. Um, but it's it's there if you wanted to do it. So uh, I tend to leave it blank and just do nothing with it because it's not one I use because uh, I'm not worried about poking. And, and, and it's a bit like the pokes. I'm not, not really worried about poking games. I should really because it might be more fun sometimes to finish some of these games that I originally had. So that's basically your template. You know, you've set it up. You've got the things there. Now, this that's the hardest part here is, you know, you have to copy this onto your um, your SD card. Again, you have to copy it and the tape file that you defined here onto your, onto your card. Now, to get this to work, though, you have to make sure that this, this actual mapping file has a file name that is representative. So if this was Cyclone, what I would be doing is I would be doing file 
and I'll be doing save as, same on the Windows by the way, it's absolutely same, save as, and then what I would be doing in here is I would be um, changing the name to something that's relevant. So, so sorry, it's a bit, of, a bit off the screen here. Um, I'd be changing the name to something um, relevant. So in here I'd be doing... Um, and I can't because I've, cause I've got it in low case. It doesn't really matter, but uh, Cyclone. Dot um, ZXK. And that would be saving that file as a ZXK file, and that would save it correctly on your your system. So so you would actually end up with a with a with a with a with a file that's a ZXK. You'd end up with a a, a dot tape file of the same name, which you then copy on straight onto your your SD card, um, stick that into your your Vega, and away you go. You should be able to then do the the B on your Vega um, to change the SD cards. And um, I'm just going to come out of that for a second just so you can see this again. Um, and then you should be able to basically um, do the B on your your, uh, your Vega, find them in the alphabetically in the right section, and then away you go. And 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 that's all there is to it. That's all there is to ZX ZXK files. Um, I've actually got a friend, um, hopefully working on a website to actually do this for you to save time. But uh, but uh, yeah, that's all there is to it. Thank you very much for watching. Please feel free to like and subscribe. If I can help you out in any way with these files, I will do. Um, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye now.